This video is brought to you by Ryzen Lab. Can we automate unwrapping already? Like seriously, why is that the only thing that hasn't been automated already? I think everyone can agree that UV mapping sucks. Like if you enjoy having to sit for hours making seams and unfolding your models again and again, I'm gonna assume you get some deep-rooted issues that need to be addressed. Professionally, I mean. But for most people, I think, we want this process to be easy and fast. But since this is not happening anytime soon, today we've got the next best thing, Ryzen UV. If you've never heard of Ryzen UV, then you have truly been living, well, here. This software is the best when it comes to dealing with UVs. I'm talking about creating UV maps automatically for any objects, loads of customizations, and editing options. I mean, even the UI looks like a clinic for the UV maps, with all the scissors and needles and that red bar on the bottom that looks like a blood meter. By the way, this histogram is actually an amazing feature that lets you perfect your UV maps, but we will get to that in a bit. All in all, I think it doesn't get any better than this. Ryzen UV 2024 in particular introduces huge updates and upgrades like an updated user interface, optimizations across the board, more control, and an even more powerful workflow. But we will get into that in a bit. Ryzen UV, of course, is also battle-tested. It has been used by video game developers, VFX studios, 3D professionals, and character artists all over the world. And you can take a look at some of their clients, which include CD Projekt Red, Nvidia, and Ubisoft. So it is known in the industry. On the other hand, a lot of people, especially artists, don't even know about it. So let me give you a quick introduction. Ryzen UV actually has been around for several years and it was specifically created to address all the headaches that come with dealing with UV unwrapping and UV mapping, thus streamlining the process. Making it possible, I think, to handle any type of workflow to be able to integrate it into any project. When it comes to UV mapping, I don't like to do anything except hit a button and be done. At least this is what I hope for. And I think most artists can get behind that, and Ryzen UV offers that actually with great success. But it also offers so much control. It is sometimes overwhelming, but in a good way. Ryzen Lab offers three versions of the software, Ryzen UV Visual Spaces, Ryzen UV Real Spaces, and Ryzen UV C++ Library. Each version is optimized for a specific use case, for instance, Virtual Spaces, is the one to get for VFX artists, game developers, and people who work in 3D animation in general. Real space is aimed more at engineers who need real physical measurements, in addition to manufacturing and engraving. Lastly, C++ library is for power users who need to build custom pipelines tailor-made for their specific workflow and projects. But honestly, you don't need to worry about the last two, because I'm not gonna talk about them in this video since I'm just interested in the Visual Spaces version because that's the one I tested and I think it is the one that most people are likely to use. Starting from the top, this is Ryzen UV's interface. For those of you who never used the software before, it feels similar to all 3D and design software out there. You got your 3D viewport, UV window, and a bunch of tools and features laid out throughout the interface. On the left, you have your tools and selection modes. At the top, you can see all sorts of operations like making seams and folding your model, controlling the textile density, packing or stacking similar islands together, and so on and so forth. And depending on which tool you selected, the panel on the far right will hold different options to reflect each tool's customizations and even hotkeys. The help panel is a great way to quickly get contextual tips and hotkeys for anything that you have selected. If you don't see it, you can activate it from the window menu and check contextual help. The big red and blue bar at the bottom will help you keep track of which UV faces are stressed and which are not. So red is pinched, blue is stressed, and gray is neutral, meaning no stretching or pinching. But this histogram bar can also be used for other functions like keeping track of pixel density, topology, sharpness, orientation, and a lot more. 
As I mentioned before, this new update saw the biggest upgrade since the 2018 release. You have big UI improvements like the HDPI support with variable DPI on all platforms, ensuring sharp elements on any display with a new UI scaling and zoom features. The new viewport contextual menu makes quick changes like locking, grouping, and tagging really fast and easily. In general, if you have used Ryzen UV before, you probably noticed the cluttered UI. The fact that options are now stacked together, long press buttons, and a drop menu makes everything more readable and less visually cluttered. Ryzen 2024 also introduces powerful timesheet and hotspot functions, and now you can import and export stream layouts using a variety of different file formats, including PNG, BMP, TGA, and SVG. There is also more control over the trim as now they can be locked, reshaped, tagged, and manipulated whichever way you want, giving you full control over the process. The hotspot also allows you to precisely match islands to trims based on so many factors like area aspect ratio, tags, shapes, and so much more. This feature allows for real-time updates and customizable display options. So if you work with trim sheets a lot, this is gonna brighten your day. Island grouping and tagging through the group panel docker and tagging panel now offers even better management and customization of islands, groups, stacks, and trims. So now you can isolate or hide certain groups, in addition to changing colors and stacking groups with ease. This version also saw a lot of viewport enhancements and backend algorithms when it comes to packing and calculations and all of this happens under the hood. This 2024 version offers more accurate seams, being able to take into account geometry and vertex normals. In addition, the packing, for example, is optimized with better algorithms for orientation and more coherent scale settings. In the viewport department, improvements include the shortest path for polygons, enhanced snapping options, new sharpness histogram for selecting edges, and a luminant texture mode for the viewport, among other things. This, in addition to numerous workflows and optimizations that just make the software one of the best when it comes to building assets and UV mapping. Of course, no video is complete without talking about pricing. On Ryzen UV, offers subscription plans, but on the other hand, it also offers perpetual licenses for independent artists and hobbyists. Visual Spaces, for example, will set you back 14.9 bucks if you choose to pay monthly, or you can pay 150 a year for a perpetual license. And for people with less than 100,000 per year income, you can take advantage of this offer during this Black Friday sale, so this is a perfect timing or a perfect chance to add this powerful tool to your toolbox. There is so much more that Ryzen UV has to offer. I mean, I didn't talk about a lot of stuff. So I will let you check that out on your own on Ryzen UV's YouTube channel with amazing breakdowns on every single aspect of the software. By the way, Ryzen Lab, which was established in 2016, are trying to create the ultimate UV unwrapping solution on the face of the earth. Their words, not mine. So even if you don't like paying for stuff in general, at least you can admire their mission, which is gonna help us as artists work more smoothly and more efficiently. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in Ryzen UV, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.